it going? It's Jamie, your crafty DIY guy, and I'm back. I am very excited about these projects today in this video. Everything in this video is pride themed. We're talking rainbows, we're talking glitter, we're talking bright, fun colors. I'm super, super excited about them. As a member of the LGBTQIA community, I wanted to do something that was very different and very unique this month and create some rainbow themed or some pride themed uh, projects for all of you guys today. And what's super cool about every single one of these projects is that they could really be very transitional. There's some cool alcohol ink techniques. There's some cool painting techniques. There's some cool t-shirts. There's some cool wreath items that you can really do in any color combination that you want. Now, what I am doing is for this video and the part two video that I'm gonna be sharing later on in the month, I am going to be donating all of the proceeds from both of these videos to the Matthew Shepard Foundation. Now, if you're not familiar with the Matthew Shepard Foundation, you should definitely check into it because it is pretty incredible. Matthew's story is uh, heart-wrenching, but a lot of very good things came from the tragedy with Matthew Shepard. So I encourage all of you to Google the Matthew Shepard Foundation, check it out, and to go into this video with full open arms, open hearts, and with the theme of love wins. So thanks everybody, take care, and I hope you enjoy these videos. For our first project, you are going to need some of these rainbow ponytail holders from Dollar Tree. I picked up this package that had almost every single color of the LGBTQ rainbow in it with the exception of this light blue color. You're not gonna need this color for this particular uh, flag that we're kind of recreating. You will need an orange one as well. So I picked up the secondary package that had the orange in it. Again, if you're into uh, rainbows, but you're not necessarily creating an LGBTQ rainbow, you can do this in any color combination you want. Now for the LGBTQ flags, the color combinations are significant. Red stands for life, orange stands for healing, yellow stands for sun, green stands for nature, indigo for harmony, and violet for spirit. Pretty cool, huh? Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my Dollar Tree wreath form. This is the circular one, and I'm going to just cut it. Um, you're going to cut it just a little bit. That way you can feed your ponytail holders onto the ribbon itself. And you'll start with the red and then work your way around the wreath form itself. And as you can see, these ponytail holders go really well on this wreath form. They just, um, just kind of stretch them through the cut that you're making there. And then after you're done with your wreath, you'll be able to just either duct tape that together or glue it, or maybe a little bit of a combo. And then you'll be able to hide it with the ponytail ties. So this will actually work out really well as you're kind of going all the way around this wreath form with these. And unfortunately, I was being a little heavy handed with my uh, wreath form here and it snapped in half. But I think that I can still make this work. Um, actually, I know I can make this work. Otherwise, you guys wouldn't be seeing this part of the video. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to remove some of these color combinations from the wreath form itself. I'm going to make sure that everything is nice and tight. And then I'm going to take out my hacksaw and I'm going to even up these ends where the broken wreath forms were on uh, each side. Place to put this or a board to put this on. I thought maybe a Dollar Tree cutting board would work, but then again, it was gonna be just a little bit too small. So I took this piece of scrap board and just simply measured it out. I wanted it to be about the same thickness and about the same length of that rainbow piece. So after I measured, I took it outside, I cut it, down to the proper size and then brought it inside after I had spray painted it this kind of aluminum color and I just spray painted it on the top and on the sides there I didn't deal with the bottom at all and as you can see it's going to be the perfect size for the rainbow so I'm just going to go ahead and put some hot glue on the styrofoam part of this I did also add a little bit of e6000 on there and uh, just glued it down and held it into place until it fully dried and then once it did fully dry, I carefully and very gently kind of shifted those rainbow colors around so you would not see that wreath form anymore. And this is what it looks like when it's all done. I really like the way that this turned out. I think I saved that wreath and turned it into a great home decor piece.
This next project, you are going to grab a Dollar Tree fluted vase. Also, I picked up this alcohol ink um, on Amazon. These just happen to be in the color combination of the rainbow flag. Um, you can use a sponge brush or another detail brush if you need to as well. And then a plastic container is going to help. So just take your vase, flip it over upside down, and then you're literally going to just drip this alcohol ink down the side of your vase, kind of like so. And as you are doing this, you are going to notice that some of the colors blend together. Some of them stay apart. Some of them will stand out on their own. And it just makes a super cool pattern all the way down the side of the glass. And what's really, really cool about this is that it will dry pretty fast, but if you need to take out your heat gun like I've got here, you could certainly do that as well, but don't you love that pattern that it is just making on the glass? I didn't even end up using my sponge brush, by the way. So this is what it looks like when it's all done. You could put a candle in it. You could put some plants in it. I love this. I think it looks like an expensive, like a Murano glass or something like that. And again, whatever color combination you'd like to use is perfectly fine for this. I have done a set of apothecary jars as well on my channel using the kind of brown and the amber tones. And again, I think this is amazing. For the next project, we are going to take a plain white t-shirt. You can get lucky enough sometimes and find these at your local Dollar Tree. I picked mine up at Amazon. I also grabbed some of these Dollar Tree poster letters. These are the ones that um, the letters are um, kind of complete letters. And then I was able to pick up a rainbow package of fabric spray paint that I was thrilled to find because again, this is all the colors of the rainbow. And uh, those were also found on Amazon, by the way. And then you're going to take a ruler, um, just use it as a guide and spell out literally whatever you want on your t-shirt. In my case, I'm doing the word love on the first line and then I'm going to bump down and I'm going to use or uh, spell out the word wins with an exclamation point. You could literally write anything you want and use this technique on any kind of t-shirt that you want to create using that fabric spray paint. It's super, super cool. I took everything outside and I took my t-shirt and I wrapped it around my poster board and then just using that spray paint, created my own little rainbow on the t-shirt itself using each one of the colors again in the red, orange, yellow, green, blue, and purple. And then I set this aside to dry. And once everything was dried, then I took a bamboo skewer and just started to peel off those poster board letters revealing my slogan on my t-shirt. Again, this can be anything that you want it to say. It's super, super easy to do. And what's great about that spray paint is that it is for fabric. So it doesn't dry super hard. It doesn't crack. It doesn't chip. It is very, very pliable with your t-shirt material. And then again, I decided to model it here for you. Again, I think this is super fun. Very, very colorful. Definitely makes a statement. And I say love wins. How about you guys? And for my last project, I am going to be using some of these rainbow tassel garland. I was able to get these in my last Michaels um, grab bag haul. And I, I think it might've even been from the spring or summer. And um, I have three boxes of these. So I'm gonna use these with a 14 inch Dollar Tree wreath form. Now, what I'm gonna be doing is because each tassel is already kind of pre-made, I don't wanna separate this. So instead, what I'm going to do is use this kind of uh, hole or this loop here to my advantage. And uh, what I'm gonna do is I'll show you here with a different color. I'll show it to you a couple different times because it's, it's kind of hard to, to uh, kind of really talk about it. But I'm taking this uh, little loop with a pipe cleaner on it, and then I'm literally folding it over. And this wreath form is actually facing down. I know this is really hard to see, and I'll show it to you in a couple different color combinations very soon. But um, all I'm doing is kind of bending that tassel, if you will and then bending it around the wreath form itself and then taking that pipe cleaner and just pulling it up through the wreath form itself. And what's cool about this is that each color will kind of lay on top of each other. So it actually is a lot more sturdier 
than you would think. And again, I was able to use three packages of these tassels that uh, they're kind of like raffia that I picked up in my Michael's grab bags. But if you think about in the party section at Dollar Tree, they do have some tassels that are already pre-made in their garland section and you could grab these and very easily recreate this wreath yourself. And once you have worked all of your colors all the way around the wreath form, you will get something that kind of looks like this. Play around with it, fluff it up a little bit, maybe give it a trim, and this is what it will look like on your door. Again, love this, super festive, super fun, could easily be recreated with any color combination that you like.